really simple frosting recipe and the things you will need are 4 ounces of unsalted butter, 1 teaspoon of vanilla and 5 cups of powdered sugar. I love this recipe because it's super easy. The first thing you need is your butter to be at room temperature. Then you can start adding your sugar. When you finish adding all your sugar, you can add your flavoring, vanilla, or even you can change the flavor and do almond or strawberry. And then I decided to add a pinch of salt to contrast the sweetness on your frosting. And then you're done. Now we can start making our cakes and the things you will need are fondants in the colors yellow, red, white, brown and blue, 6 inch cardboards, the pictures of your emojis, I'm gonna do the laugh emoji, the kiss emoji and the poop emoji, also you're gonna need a square cake for your poop emoji and two half spheres cakes and your frosting. Now we're gonna start with a cry laughing emoji. The first thing you need to do is get one of your 6 inch cardboards, glue with some frosting your has fierce cake and chrome coat it. Make sure that your frosting is completely smooth and after that you can put it in a fridge for a few minutes. Now we can start rolling our fondant, putting some cornstarch on our surface. We can start rolling it and we're gonna make a circle that just covers the cake. We don't need to do it bigger because we really don't have sides. After we achieve to the size that we need, we're gonna put it on top and because it's a sphere, we don't need to be worried about sides. We just smooth the surface and just put it all the edges really crisp so we know where to cut our excess fondant. show you two ways that you can cut your features for your emoji cakes this is the first one and it's just marking with your print picture on top of your fondant and then gluing it on your cake Of course, we needed to do the tears and I wanted to do a 3D effect to them So I put some tylos to my fondant to make it harder that way they stick up when I glue them and When I'm gluing all my features to my cake when I'm putting the tears on I put two little balls of white fondant that way they completely stick out of the cake and they look super 3D and super super cool Our first emoji is done. Now we can start our chocolate emoji aka poop emoji. The first thing we need is our square cake and we're gonna make a base of our cardboard using our printed picture and we just trace our picture on the cardboard and we cut it and we use that as a base and as our template to cut our cake. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the our first. We're gonna glue it to our base and crumb coat it and put it in the fridge. Now we can start rolling our brown fondant, but in this time we want it a little bit bigger because we don't only have a little bit of sides, but as well we have those little like curvy edges of our poop emoji. So we want a little bit of fondant extra so we can pull it and stick it to all those ridges to make all the marks that it needs. If you don't have this fondant tool, you can 
of course use a back of a brush or even your fingers to mark all those sides just focus first on the top to take all the air bubbles out then on the sides and when you finish that you can cut all the excess then for the top I use a scissor because it has a pointy end to it and I wanted to take that out so I just use the scissors and then we can do all the marks you can do it two ways you can do it like I'm doing here just free-handed looking at a picture but if you're not sure about that you can put the picture on top and mark it as well now we can start decorating our book emoji the first thing you need to do is just roll a little bit of white fondant and black fondant and the second method that we can do is taking out the features out of our picture and then putting it on top of our fondant and cutting them out after you cut them all out you can glue them with a little bit of water to your cake If you want to make sure that you're putting your features in the right place, you can put your picture on top and use this as a template or a guide to put them under the exact place because we don't want a lopsided or cross eye emoji poop cake, okay? Now finally, we put our smile and they're done. For our last cake, the mwah! kiss emoji we're gonna do the same thing with it with our first cake we're gonna just come coat our house fear cover it with our fondant and we can start decorating this time I'm not marking it or anything I'm just doing little rolls on my brown fondant and using my picture as guide then I decided that I wanted to do the same effect that I did to the tears with my heart so I put some tylos to the red fondant and when I'm gluing all my features to my cake I put a little ball of red fondant so it pops up and great then it's really important that this emoji you put the features where they're supposed to be so I take my picture and I just mark with a little dot where each item goes that way it, it doesn't <laughs> look crazy and it looks just like the kiss emoji and when you glue the heart to your cake is done I hope you enjoy them and I hope it helps you to start covering cakes with fondant and having more confidence doing them. I love you so much and hey, tell me on the comments below what's your favorite emoji. See you next time, bye bye. And here you have them, the emoji cakes. I hope you enjoy them. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and I see you next time.